Hey, Mr. Worst here. So this is a F equals MA warmup. So force equals mass times acceleration. That is Newton's second law, okay? Now, how to use that is uh, right here. So force equals mass times acceleration. Acceleration also equals force divided by mass and mass equals force divided by acceleration. So those three things are related. Basically, force is an object's mass times how much it accelerates. Another way to think about it is the acceleration of an object is the force applied to that object divided by the mass of that object. Um, yeah, I think that's the best way to think about it. Acceleration is the force of an ob is the force of an force on an object divided by its mass, or the resulting acceleration of an object <laughs> is the force applied to it divided by. Okay, whatever. We're just gonna do some calculations. There, here's the warm up. Okay, so the warm up down here. Uh, we're just gonna use one equation for each section. So here, this first section, you're gonna do force equals mass times acceleration. So for number one. F mass equals two kilograms and acceleration equals three meters per second per second, then what is the force? Well, F equals MA. So to find the force, you just multiply mass times acceleration. So we're just gonna multiply these two together. So two times three is six, and the units are Newtons, okay? Uh, there's points and it'll show you the grading on this. Um, right now, I, uh, I'm not gonna say how I have it set up because other teachers may set it up differently. Okay, the second section, is on the way I like to think of um, Newton's second law, F equals MA. Um, I think this way makes the most sense, but often you're, you're asked to find force or you're asked to find mass. But um, thinking, conceptualizing the law, Newton's second law um, as a concept, I think the way to think about Newton's second law is right here. Acceleration is the force applied to an object divided by the mass of that object. Um, yeah, okay, I'll stop. Okay, uh, so down here, you're just gonna divide force by mass. Okay, so we give you the force, we give you the mass, divide the force by the mass. So six divided by three is two. Right down there, you select that one, you get a point. Okay, um, told you the answer. In the last section, mass equals force divided by acceleration. So an object's mass, you can calculate, and a lot of science does this actually, a lot of sensors work this way. Um, so you can measure an object's mass by seeing how much it accelerates when a, when a known force is applied. <laughs> That's how a lot of science works. A lot of sensors work that way. Um, so there you go. Um, a lot of mass sensors work that way. I bet you a lot of accelerate acceleration sensors also work by, sorry, I'm getting really distracted, but that's fine. And I, I don't do other takes. So a lot of acceleration sensors, I bet you have a known force and a known mass, well, wait, no, never mind. Okay, that was confusing. <laughs> Pretend like I just didn't say that. Okay, um, so down here, the last one, mass equals force divided by acceleration, same law, just stated a little differently, is you just, so here, we want you to find the mass, we give you the force to give you the acceleration, you just divide force by acceleration. So 16 Newtons divided by eight meters per second per second. 16 divided by eight is two, two kilograms. Okay. Um, the answers will be shuffled. So I've shown you the last answer in each one, but they'll be shuffled. So they'll be in different orders. Um, so don't just look where I'm pointing. You also need to understand what I'm saying. Okay, I'm done talking. Uh, yeah, so I'll put this video at the beginning of each section in case you forget.